Which I nine pictures, and he's going to talk for a minute on each of them. Um, three of them I'm not going to show you because, yeah. Uh, let's start <laughs> off with uh, someone from Harry Potter. Yeah. So off you go, Heath. Well, I'll talk about the background for this first. I'm from a charity called Future Leaders. We train senior leaders for challenging schools. We've got about 380 now working across the country. About 35 of them have gone on to headship. So I asked some of our heads, what advice would you give senior leaders? Um, and you're not allowed because it's a kind of light-hearted, relaxed evening. You're not allowed to mention Ofsted or Raise Online. <laughs> so each of one has got a photo. And because I can't time how long I'm going to speak for... Stephen's going to give me the photos and I'll talk about them. So the first one is Albus Dumbledore. And the first piece of advice they gave me was get yourself a mentor. Get yourself somebody that you can talk to outside of your school, whose opinion you trust, who you can rely on, who isn't your life partner. Because your life partner will not appreciate you coming home night after night complaining about what such and such a teacher in year eight said what the unions are up to and the difficulty you're having with all sorts of classes. Second picture, a present, a gift. We talk about future leaders that feedback is a gift and it links to the last presentation about growth mindset. If you have a growth mindset, you seek out and you welcome feedback because it helps you to improve. If you have a fixed mindset, you avoid feedback because it tells you you're not very good at something. As a senior leader, the most important thing you can do is to seek out feedback all the time and also to offer it to others. How many times a day do you say, can I give you some feedback? The other part of gifts is give people gifts as well, real gifts. Postcards, little presents, chocolates, anything to say thank you. You should have seen your leaders, they told me, say thank you all of the time. This one's a ticket to Rochdale. I'm not advising that anyone goes to Rochdale. Um, but I am saying, get out of your school. Go and visit other schools as much as you can. Um, senior leaders had said to us, you always learn something if you go to another school, whether it's an outstanding school, whether it's a school in special measures. Get out, see other practices, learn from other schools, find out what they're doing, find if there's something that you can take back. It's a fantastic learning experience. And if you can't do it in the real world, do it in the virtual world. Events like this, getting on Twitter, finding out what's going on, and never being complacent in your practice. This is a, a sort of standard web picture of a, a happy family. Um, senior leaders, certainly our senior leaders, work incredibly hard. I'm sure you do. And the, the demands on your time are excessive. 70, 80 hour a week can often become a regularity. But what happens at home is really, really important because that's where you're centred. Your hobbies, your friends, your family, if you neglect them, you do so at your peril because you run the risk of burnout. So for all our senior leaders, we say... Make time for the things that are important to you and keep that sacrosanct, whatever's happening at school. This is a ruler. Measure something. I was listening to um, Peter earlier talking about his work at Q3 and I thought, he said he's hit a brick wall. I bet he hasn't. I bet there's loads of stuff that's happened since he's been there doing teaching and learning. But the difficulty is when everything's very busy and you're rushed off your feet, do you know? And you can measure loads of things through surveys. So we talked about SurveyMonkey from Google Forms. Just find out what's going on and say, well, this is better than it was before. And in those dark days in November when you're really exhausted, saying, well, actually, 20% more of classes have the learning objectives written up before the lesson is a really positive thing for you, and it's a positive thing for your governors and for your line management meetings. <coughs> shoes. Get good shoes. <laughs> really good shoes. If you're a senior leader, you shouldn't be in your office. You should be out and about around the school. And the more you're walking, the better shoes you need. Um, one of our senior leaders said when he goes to a new school, and he's been to a several new schools, on the first day he stands at the gate, he goes to Lost Property, and he gets a hooded sweatshirt. The school has a uniform policy. They couldn't wear hooded sweatshirts. He stands with his over his arm, and the kids just started giving him their sweatshirts as they came in. He's always out and about. The more you're out and about, the more you develop credibility, the more people will trust you. You have that presence. Don't stay in your office. Walk. How are we doing? You're doing all right. Tesco values. This is about values, not about Tesco's. <laughs> Work out what your values are and stick to them. If you have been a school leader for them many years, you'll have believed that BTECs were the best thing since sliced bread, 
then it's five agencies, including some maths, now it's EBAC. You'll be driven stark staring mad by government because they change their minds every 20 minutes. Work out what it is that you believe in, what's really important to you, and talk about it a lot and stick to it all the time. A pen. Right. We talk a lot about reflection. Reflection's really hard to do because it's hard to carve out time for reflection. But if you write, write a blog, write a journal, publish it. Um, there's fantastic opportunities now through Twitter, through social media, just to tell your story and you'll be amazed how much you get out of that process of writing down what you're doing, what you're experiencing, putting it on paper. You don't have to share it, but if you want to, there's lots of people that would love to read it and it really helps you reflect. And last, perhaps most important, smile. Try and stay optimistic. Schools are incredibly tough places and it's incredibly hard to be a senior leader when things are going wrong, when the unions are working to rule, when teachers are upset, when kids are angry, when parents are streaming at your door. But if you can stay smiling, then you've got a chance. It is just the most fantastic job in the world, so why not enjoy it? Thank you.